Welcome to FIRST Canada's FTC training series. Today, we will go over the basics of using sensors by reading the values from a color, distance, and touch sensor, which can then be used in our code. Having the ability to sense objects around your robot can be very useful in both autonomous and teleo. An example of the usefulness is having a touch sensor that prevents your elevator from going too high, or in autonomous, having a color sensor determines if you're picking up the right object. First, we will start with the touch sensor. The touch sensor is essentially a button, and it tells us if it's pressed or not. As a basic example, we will attach a touch sensor to the front of our robot, and when the sensor is pressed, it will prevent us from driving forward. This is useful, so if we accidentally hit a wall, our robot would automatically stop and not continue to drive up against it. In the configuration, there are two states for the touch sensor, high and low. We want to use high to check if the sensor is pressed, Once we have that, it is pretty straightforward to implement this into our driving. We will create an if-else statement that checks if the button is pressed, and if the robot's speed is going forward, if so, then it will stop the motors from being powered. This still allows for reversing out of a situation, just not going further forward. Now, we will move on to the color distance sensor. Although it has more uses in autonomous, we will use it here in Telia to demonstrate its capabilities. This sensor included in the kit is a combination of a color and distance sensor, so it can do both. We will just write some simple code to display the values measured on our phone using telemetry. We just need to read the values and keep our telemetry updated in the loop. We will start with the distance sensor. Here, we just set the unit to centimeters, but you could also change it to inches if you prefer. Next is alpha. This is a measure of transparency, so the lower the value, the more transparent and the higher, the more opaque. This means that if it's up against a wall, the value will be high compared to if there was just air in front of it. The next three entries are the color values. They are a measure of the respective red, green, and blue light coming into the sensor. If you combine these numbers, you can easily find the exact color in front of the sensor. An example of this would be if you placed a red sheet in front of the sensor, the sensor would read a high red value and low blue and green values. Today we covered the basics of sensors by controlling a touch, color, and distance sensor. Although they do have some applications in Heliop, they're most useful in Autonomous, and by using the values you have accessed here, they can easily be applied elsewhere to create a better and more reliable autonomous routine.